Lost money in the building. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. It's the Weed Chronicles. Weed Chronicles. With Devo, Devo, and Upstate. Upstate. Let's go. Let's go. It's the Weed Chronicles. Shit's comical. Devo and Upstate. I'm so high in the chat. I'm cupcake baked. So Taking hits from the bar. From your thinking and making the song. Hey, man. Y'all remind me of Chichi and Chong, bouncing back off each other like ping pong. ping pong. One thing I will think on, creep on mugs, money I will swing on. Hit you in the face with all of my wings on. I'm a god like Zilla mixed with King Kong. Rolling up a slip about the like a cheap phone. Cheap two old stoners with no shirts on. I rocks with them cause they supposed to show love. Starting off the podcast playing drinks up. Man, that's what's up. Everybody hit that thumbs up. Yeah, that if you ain't subscribed, well then sub up. Do it. Sit back, relax, and smoke some bud up. Smoke it up, up, up past. The grass will puff and I'ma put you on your ass fast. Hey, you have choking like I'm sitting there pumping gas. Trying to catch your breath like you run and laugh. That's what happens when you hit them dabs. Alright, y'all tune in, now I'ma get some laughs. Cause I'm out like a fat kid in dodgeball. As I hit this bowl like I'm teen up a golf ball. Your rapper's soft like a washcloth, so man, that's, that's enough. It's a rap, dog. It's a rap, dog. Welcome everyone to Diva on Upstate's Midday Taco Tuesday. I hope <laughs> everybody is leaning on their favorite strain. I hope everybody is in a 420 state of mind. This is how we do it. We grind them. We pile them. We pack them, twist them, lick them, light them, and suck them. It's time. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for healing our sick. Thank you for healing the twisted and demented. Father, thank you for this wonderful herb in which we partake that you have created for us. Thank you. And all the people in the church said, through Jesus to the Father. Amen. Amen. Hey, a disclaimer. This is a look, don't do it. This channel don't promote nothing. No, we don't encourage any some stuff that's illegal or anything. Uh, all this content you guys are going to see is uh, meant for entertainment and educational purposes only. You must be 18 years old or older to even be in here. Word. Slow burner. Angie, Miss Luck, Bell, Bell, Oi. Kurt, Kurt, welcome in, guys. Welcome and in, this, Kurt. this this is just a uh, a Taco Tuesday. We don't usually do Tuesdays, and uh, I was up, my ass up. Say if you wanted to do one, he said sure. So. I'm fixing to get my taco on Tuesday. Hey, buddy, I've had tacos for three days in a row. And none of them had, uh, well, none of them had cheese. I bet they had lettuce. No lettuce. I'm almost willing to guarantee they had lettuce. No lettuce. I don't do lettuce on a taco. I like a little lettuce on my taco. Yeah, I bet you do. You know, like a landing strip. Mm -hmm. A Hitler. Uh, Adolf. Adolf. Adolf, the other end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <clears throat> you know, if you have an overbite, man, you could taste poop. Dude. Slow burner. <laughs> Try <laughs> the pastrami sandwich. Ew. Hey, I do, yeah. I don't do pastrami, dude. I like the roast beef myself. Yeah, no pastrami, man. 
The old lady knows she'll indulge in a pastrami every once in a while, but she don't get kissed for like half a day. I love pastrami too. Oh, I can't stand it, dude. <clears throat> Salty meat, bro. I'd rather have corned beef hash than pastrami. I I, I could go for either or. Corned beef hash, little eggs, a couple of sausage links on the side, some biscuits and gravy. Mm. Mm. Or bacon. Mm. Don't matter. Mm. What do you like? What do you like on your tacos? Uh, salsa, meat, and cheese. Word. No sour cream. No avocado. No tomatoes. No. I like. Bull. Now my taco salad. I like a little sour cream in there. But that's the taco salad, not the. And I don't even like sour cream. <laughs> Wonder what they do to those cows to make sour cream. Well, they give them make some sour patch kids and tell them, right. you know, either either they, they got a they got a big screen TV in the milk house and they play our 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 rumble and YouTube channels to the cows that turns their milk sour. Well, I thought it was the sour patch kids. I'm thinking that's what we are. <clears throat> we might be. Sour Patch Kids. Put a one in chat if you think we're Sour Patch Kids. We're sweet, and then we're sour. I'm dank. I'm high. <laughs> Off two hits. But I haven't smoked anything this morning since I got up, man. I thought today we had one this morning. Boy, I popped up, had the coffee made up and everything. Realized. It was Tuesday that we could do one anytime we want. <laughs> Big bratwurst and Swiss with onion on right with horseradish. Man, that sounds tasty right there. Slow burner. Cows don't have nuts. Yeah, they don't have nuts, bro. Uh, I'm sorry, but there ain't nowhere you can kick a cow and milk that. it. I mean, there's no way you can milk something with nuts unless you know something more than I do. Prowse, and Wigger, and Swiss with onion and rye. Rye! Okay, that's another thing I don't like. Rye bread. Not even. You must be an East Coaster. Because I don't think... Do, dude, these... I dude, like rye. Yankees, man, they eat some weird shit. I like rye bread, marbled rye bread. I like stinky cheese, you know, that uh, Parmesan. My goodness, Angie, TMI. Well, you know, that, 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 that explains some stuff, dude. <laughs> 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 Just say it. Yeah. I don't How come see I don't anyone see anyone else's uh, chat. Yeah, what the I, fuck? Because you're over in in Rumble, and you can only see Rumble chat, bro. Yeah, we're on the tube, too. See, no, you... Felix! I, hey, Felix, what's up, man? <laughs> what did I say, Devo? Hey, hey well, man. Whatever what you I said, do? we agree. My mother with loves it. stink. My mother loves stinky stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mama likes stinky stuff. That's okay. My mama did too. Yeah, she oh, liked you. Love that shit. <sighs> I bet your mama didn't. Your your mama didn't go for anything stinky, huh? Of course, you can milk. Wait a minute, what? You can milk something, but with butts. Have not heard of artificial insemination. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They but do you that can't, a lot. You can't, you can't milk something with nuts. <clears throat> I mean, well, I guess you can. I've been milked a time or two. <laughs> 
Hey, New York strip on a grill. Dang, dude. That sounds like a killer breakfast. You know the what I mean? Burger came over here, too. He, he got off a rumble and came over here to YouTube. See what everybody's talking about? Yes. <laughs> Yes. It's kind of with nuts. Um, with nuts. Yeah, I take that, that back. Things with nuts can be milked. Oh, but we spell the kind of sandwich meat Kurt oh, was no. saying he likes with onions on rye bread. No, sorry, dude. With no nuts. Almond milk. Yeah, where's the tits on an almond? Yeah, I'd like to see them titties. Hey, you know the old saying, it doesn't matter if they're big or small, we still like to see them all. <laughs> you know, just saying. From a man's point of view. Angie, it's a bronze wigger. A who? A bronze, bronze wigger. <clears throat> it's like a bratwurst, man. It's a tube-shaped piece of meat, Angie. You got to go like this when you eat it. Hey, do you like uh, the gyro? Does it got lamb in it? Yeah. Nope. Really? I don't eat, I don't eat lamb. Hell, I'll tear that motherfucker up. And then they put feta cheese in it? Yeah, I'm down. They Not use the no. saucy feta cheese, though. I don't. Mm. I don't do lamb. Cheap. There's a place in Oklahoma City right by uh, the base that that guy had the best gyro sandwiches around. Oh yeah. Hell yeah! Around. I might. I might go fly into to Oklahoma City just to. Get you to stop there. You're gonna have to smell it. <laughs> You're gonna smell it. Yes, I, I ain't smelling it. nothing. <clears throat> you too, slow burner. Look, day, Angie's kind of dyslexic too, today. <laughs> she yeah, see, this. Angie got it going on with the. Uh, yeah. You're spelling like I do. Yeah, she must be country. She's using that speak to spell. Yeah, that he don't understand Angie. They don't understand me either. Don't understand Devo. Don't understand Upstate. I damn sure guarantee it ain't gonna understand me. There ain't no fucking way. Oh, bad. Mm. Why are you yawning? I don't know. Been man. To bed yet? I'm yawning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went to bed last night at, uh, oh, I don't know. It was I late, late. I, I was in bed and asleep probably by 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. She's got. My fingers are swollen. What did you do to your fingers? What did you do to your fingers, Angie? <laughs> Man, I just got a hot flash. My armpits are moist. You're getting that fucking... Am I going through menopause? Mental pause. Mental pause? Yeah, your you mentality don't fucking paused. I have yeah. a cold, cold sweat going on right now. And I don't know why. I'm not even going to go there, Angie. I got a bed. You know Man, what? I, I can't even say that on YouTube. Take a guess, Upstate. While your fingers are swollen? Yeah, while your her fingers are swollen. Is it just one one hand or are they both hands? Uh, what if it's fingers both hands, are they? Are, you, are your pointer, your thumb, your middle your bean, finger? Your bean your flicker? Finger, your pinky. The bean flickers? The trigger fingers? Well, it's got to be two on one hand, probably. Dragon, what's up, eh? <clears throat> Dragon. Or a stroke. Ooh. 
you got oh, either manopause or a stroke, bro. Me? Oh, it's How many fingers? Both hands? Is it your thumbs uh, or? See, because mine, I got an excuse. My my pointer fingers are, both of them are. are you need to put some uh, Pyroni stuff no over shit. there. Dude. Stick your finger down in there. Because mine, mine are both bent. And this pinky don't want to work. Like, when I want to extend it, I have to, ah, I have to force it. That's what she said. Well, sometimes they do. See, because I said hi to her first. She said hi to me first. Ha ha. Yes, you're I correct. like me better. Yes, you're correct, but you're very correct. <clears throat> Did I tell you about a thing that happened one time when I was a kid? You've told me a lot of things that happened when you were a kid. I don't know why I just remembered this, but I remember we, we had this two slides. One was about 14 foot tall, metal. Oh. The other one was about 20 foot tall, metal. Oh. Slides oh. that went, you know, like this. And then you hit the ground in the sand. We were all out there climbing the ladders. And there's this one kid uh, climbing up the big slide. And he got about halfway up it and froze. Because he got scared. This other little kid, that I mean, he was just a new kid, man. He left. Stuck on that Peroni. Peroni? Yeah, damn, man. That stuff was straight out a, a bad dream. You rub it right. Maybe this kid was hung up halfway up this slide, and there was a bunch of little kids trying to climb up the slide too. Kid froze. Well, the kid that this one, I'm telling you, he's just a new kid. He came and then he left. He was going, "Hurry up, Bobby, going up." He goes, "I can't do it." He's holding on that slide. I can't. <laughs> I'm scared. I go get the teacher. He said, "Screw the teacher. I'll help you." Pulls the kid's pants down and sticks his finger in his behold. The old bung hole. Up. He didn't move. He just screamed. And then teachers came out. That kid got in trouble. He got his ass beat for fingering another kid. But <laughs> <clears throat> I think he probably going to grow up and be a, a proctologist. Yeah. What about, what about the wax paper? What are you doing with wax paper, Kurt? What are you making? Hey, hey, hey. That felt like a fucking something. Something ran. Damn, ran man. Across you, my shoulder, dude. Look, uh, I had a uh, L4-5 fusion. I got some uh, somebody's bone in my back. It's not mine. Cadaver bone. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> you know, those are uh, very beneficial. I donated my eyes. I donated uh, the my bones. If my mm -hmm. anything else is good, they can have it. But uh, I'm not donating myself to science. I just <laughs> flat out refuse. I ain't donating nothing. I'm taking everything God gave me with me. Trust me, ain't nobody going to want none of my stuff. I'm saturated well, in THC. I mean, you know, the medical benefits of me doing that outweigh the negative. So I'm, I'm going to do it. Nah, I don't think I, I decided that back when my sister and mom owned that ambulance service in Matt Muldrow and and Gore. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm glad they never had to come get me. They did uh the the young boat blood kid. Oh that one whenever they got stabbed. Yeah. He was DOA, wasn't he? Uh, no, he, uh, he, he was alive long enough for my mom to, you know, comfort him. 
you know, it's okay. She couldn't save him. He doesn't lost too much blood. There's blood all over the floor of the truck. A little junior high kid, or he was a junior in high school, got I stabbed. He sophomore. He might have been a sophomore. Got stabbed over a freaking cigarette lighter. Yeah. That people were, they took it away from this new kid and they were throwing it around the room. And it happened to land over by Joey. And Joey picked it up, just kind of stuck it up under his leg. And that kid came up behind him and stabbed him in the heart with a pocket knife. Killed him. That thing was only about that long, too. It wasn't a deep hole. My mom could stick her finger in it and plug up the artery. But that that just gave him like a minute or two more. That's it. Look, man, Felix, I don't know, man, if you uh, you indulge in marijuana or not. But look, bro, <clears throat> I had a single fusion, uh, two operations. They had to take the hardware out because it, I, it, it hurt. I could feel it. They took the hardware. I had two operations. I had the, the initial fusion. And then uh, they had to pull the hardware out. And when they pulled the hardware out, they told me I needed two more fusions. The other two were going bad. Dude, I was lucky that I was walking when I got out of that place and they had me on pain medication. They tried, they started me out on everything you can freaking imagine from fentanyl to everything patches and all this and that finally settled on a uh, Oxycontin 10 milligram straight up pain. No, nothing else in it. I did those for so long. You'd think, man, I'd still be hooked on them. Right. Um, a lot of prayer. And that good marijuana, man. I used uh, Skywalker OG. was worked great for me with pain. Okay. I walked away from that clinic. I was on it for almost 20 years, something like that, taking that crap for 20 years. Walked away from the clinic, started leaning heavy on my marijuana. Dude, I, ain't been, I haven't had a pain pill. And uh, it going on 10 months now, huh, State? Something yeah. like that. And I had to go through it with you, man. Tell, yeah. I'll tell you what, the 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 psychological damage that you have from getting off the drugs. Yeah. If you don't have the power to get through it, or you better have a good fucking friend, man. Seriously. This this right here helped me. Yeah. This right here helped me because yeah. I watched some of the things that I did back whenever I was all jacked up, man. And I'm like, man. <laughs> You know, and uh, be honest with you, man, I don't have no pain, okay, because I stay on top of the marijuana that I use. I've got a certain brand that I use. It does it. Now, don't get me high, and it tastes like crap to me that I grew this year, last year, but I can just smoke a little bit of that. If I'm in pain, man, I can smoke a little bit of that, and I'm fine. And I read a study the other day about hydroprofen, man. There's a link to that hydroprofen and heart failure. It'll give you a heart attack, stroke, and this and that. So I quit taking ibuprofen, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just quit taking that crap. It's no good for you anyway, really. I take one every great once in a while. I'm done. I but, done. Uh, dude, when I, okay, you know I broke my neck, right? Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, I fell my, off. The, they did that to my dad, too, Angie. I did it. My I fell too. off the the we we had a cinder block wall all the way around the house, okay, except for the front yard, kind of curved over at my window, but uh, I was on top of the gate, and I fell off, and my neighbor found me, and she carried me all the way to my mom. I am. They said that I was less than a, a hair away from being totally paralyzed. I had to learn how to walk again, you know, let alone climb. And uh, the headaches and everything. Plus, I have a metal plate in my head that I got years after. Dude, I have the worst headaches, the worst neck pain. My sciatic nerves jacked up, this and that and the other. Fucking so many things wrong with me. Uh, I stopped taking all my Lord Tabs. I was on Lord Tab 10s. And I got 
like 360 or no, it was 220. You just taking six a day? I would take a board sometimes. And oh, hell, man, 120 pills didn't last me but two weeks. Oh, no, I mean, 120 pills, I'd be pissed off in about a week. I'd be mad. Hey, man, like, Kurt, thank you for coming in, bro. And, man, that sounds freaking awesome. I love chicken like chicken livers, man. See, I don't do chicken. So, oh, Kurt, man. you can have yeah. all the chicken livers out there. <laughs> I want I, some. I, I'll bring you some. Hey, chicken liver will put lead in your pencil, bro, ham. No, it isn't. I, I, hate, I ate some like two days ago, and I've been banging hey, them. you want to have lead in your pencil? Cut you, uh, or go go to to Walmart or whatever. Get you, you two tomahawks right. and cut cut yours off the bone after you get it done. Don't cut it. Don't cut it rough. Cut. You know. Don't care. Don't care to get close to the bone or anything. Then eat that shit off the bone. That is the best meat you can have. Right there. Hands down. Oh, my, my old lady doesn't like anything near the bone at all. She will not eat that meat. Even yeah. if it's like a uh, ham or something, she won't do it. So uh, I eat hers, and man, I will eat the shit out of that motherfucker. Hey, listen, Felix. I didn't mean, I didn't mean the way it come out. I didn't mean just quit and then start smoking weed. You still take your medicine, but you find find the the, the weeds, man, that'll help you out in pain. Yeah, but, you can, you know, because a lot you of can't research, just stop man. taking. You can't just stop taking that medication. So no. it's really stressful on your organs, man. Your heart, I, everything. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm I an old cold turkey and had a headache for about nine months. I, it, I'm an it old, would not go away. I am an old junkie, so therefore I've I've known. Uh, when you detox stuff, man, you know, I detoxed off some stuff that's pretty damn rough. So yeah. the pills wouldn't, the pills didn't bother me when I got off of them. Uh, Your shit but, was way worse than mine. I was just doing Lortaz. You were doing Oxys. Yeah. Yeah. And I wasn't taking them either, bro. These were snortable. <laughs> <laughs> These were snortable. They give an old junkie, an old Coke junkie, an old meth junkie that loves snort shit. Pills that you could break down and snort. Yes, they do, Felix. If you're a veteran, you know you know my struggle. Same with yeah. being Native American, man. They have the same kind of doctors. Yep. And I mean, I I feel for y'all. Yep. And it's free. I was <laughs> this close. To committing suicide, my dad kicked the the gun out of my hand. This is when I had headaches so bad that because uh, I quit cold turkey, you know, that I eventually got back on them. But I quit cold turkey. That was the first time I tried to quit. And dude. There's a lot of mental bullshit you got to go through just to to get clean. I did it because I wanted to, you know. When I finally had enough, I just had enough, you know. When you're done with something, you're done. It's like an ex will always be an ex, you know. See, the patch is okay, but man, I wore a patch for about nine months. That that was like years ago, but yeah, I had a patch. I'll never do that shit again either. It made me sick. Plus, it made me break out. The patch. Yeah, it has yeah, me too. Uh, it made my tongue swell, man. It has silicone in it, and anything silicone, I'm allergic to. So I break out, get sick. Yeah, it, it's terrible, man. It's so you can't handle, you you can't handle the silicone bone. What? <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing. I retract the question. <laughs> Dude, 
I heard the question. It's just I'm like, what? Yeah, man. That uh Yeah, man, look, those patches, man. Yeah. I mean, look, they'll switch you around and you just go in and tell them say, Hey man, that crap don't work. It's bad. You know, and they'll they'll adjust you. There's a certain they'll put you on something. I'll guarantee you. Yeah. Yeah, they get benefit. See the thing with government, they get kickbacks for using big pharma, you know? So like the mil the okay, the VA, they buy shit in bulk. You know, that's why my the looks of my prescriptions change. They might be a capsule one time and be a pill the next, but uh can they you get kickbacks and when when the the doctors work with big pharma, damn right they that's do. That's our problem. Because then they don't care. Every doctor, every doctor that I've ever seen <clears throat> since Oklahoma has became medical, ask you know that they, they you know you have THC in your in your in your urine. Do you have a card? Hell yeah, I've got a card. And I said, I'll tell you what, I quit taking all that crap you guys give me and just started using my weed. My numbers were pretty damn good. You know, cholesterol's a little high, but, you know, I handle that. I just quit eating grease. <laughs> Being dependent on anything is a game I'm not into. <clears throat> no. Yeah, I understand, bro. But. I understand. Yeah, yeah. But um, I've had, like, since I have kind of got myself back, you know, got the fog lifted and everything, man, uh, life ain't as bad as you think it is. But when you got something pinning you down and, you know, it, hey, it was a do or die situation, bro. It was either if I, if I didn't walk away from that, I was going to be dead. Because like I said, dude, I, were, I was snorting at least 15 of them a day. Started out four, five, six to eight. Next thing I know, I'm doing 15, 20 of them a day, man. Yeah. In a 24-hour setting. In a 24-hour yeah. setting. Yes. Didn't sleep. Stayed up all night because I couldn't sleep. And then when I ran out, I couldn't sleep. At the end of the month, there was three days, man, that I could not sleep. I finally got all that straightened out. I sleep. I don't think about it. I never, never really did because it didn't help, man. It didn't do nothing but make my pain worse. And if you take process. them for very long, if you take, hey, process, if you take pain medication for a very long amount of time, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll be hurting. You'll take you a pill, two, three, whatever. And in about 45 minutes, you're still in pain or it hurts worse. It's intense. That's to keep you, that's the addiction thing, keep you going. They just quit working for me. So I quit going. That and I know I was going to kill myself. The thing that I noticed and like I said, I've been taking them for a while and increased every time, you know, and pain management and this and that and the other. Until you get the gumption to do something, you ain't going to do it. <clears throat> you ain't going to do it. You, not, you will say no. You got to be tired of it. And look at it like this. Why do they call them pain pills? It isn't because they get rid of the fucking pain. It makes it, it worse. It makes you it depend on them. Right. You know, I am That's in no true. pain now that I am off of that motherfucker. Me and neither. I'm using marijuana to take care of it. Hey, bro, look, uh, that, like I said, process did like, uh, oh, one yeah. They, uh, when I broke my back, they put me on every major, to, you know, they give, did me the gauntlet, run me through the gauntlet. And yeah. finally settled on what they settled on. And yeah, <clears throat> dude, I mean, they I don't take morphine. As long as you're going to that clinic and, and uh, getting that medication, people are getting paid. Believe it or I, not, people are getting paid because you're a patient using them drugs and they hate to see you leave. They oh, hate yeah. to see you leave. Yeah, they don't want but to see you leave. But the doctors you notice, and nurses are happy to see you go, and they're willing to get you out of there. But the hospital itself, as a whole, listen to this. Listen to this. 
But what I'll guarantee you is if you quit going to the pain clinic, they will not call to check on you because there's two things that happen. One, you died. Or two, you just moved on. So they don't check on, they will not call and say, hey, you haven't been in. Uh, is everything okay? They know, they know that 95% of their people, they're doping up. <laughs> Could overdose. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I always had Narcan in the house, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I always had two bottles of Narcan. Right yep. No, I put it in the medical. I have a little medical bag. I had a, a Narcan bottle about that big. It had a, a you know, right? Dang, yeah, you press after on the I, After I snorted about 15 or so pain pills, I'd stick that thing up my nose and tie it to a string like around my head, right? That yeah. way, if I fell out, when I hit the ground, it goes, it'd give me a shot. <laughs> You're hoping. <laughs> yeah. You're hoping. Yeah, like hoping. You, you want to lay it face first. <laughs> yeah, I think you wake up, man, <laughs> yeah. on your back, you go, oh, my head. <clears throat> yeah. I've yeah, done I those. I, I, I've done those, man. I, I've, I've done that. Man, I'll tell you what, I don't I, I only did it once. It didn't help. And I did not like the drugs they put me on to put me out. I, I was know, wrestling demons while I was asleep. On my neck, I was getting severe sharp ass pains. They like shh, dude, they they were unbearable sometimes. Like so make me it, fucking pass out. It was either Twice. from moshing moshing to music. Or doing something else, bobbing that head. No, I broke, I broke my neck. Oh, okay. I was in a halo and had to learn how to walk. You had a halo? Yes. Did you hang it up on your horns? Kind of, sort of. I still have a scar right here. Uh -huh. uh, you can't see it. Dude, right there. That's, a, that's a five head instead of a four head. No, uh, it's a forehead still. <sighs> well, guys, I'm I'm glad everybody's in here and uh, talking about the battle one. Discuss all this like <clears throat> we have. <clears throat> I used to have a tattoo on my shaft back in the eighties. It's rubbed off now, though. <laughs> too too many. Uh, I'm not even going to say it. Don't don't. Yeah, no. it was a lot of them. It was a lot of them. I I know there's a lot of girls out there with flat knees because of you. I, that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> you resemble that remark. Nasal. <laughs> if, they, if they were anywhere, they were on a chair. Steady. Chair by ass. What, one of those rotating ones you can spin them around? One that I leans don't... back, has rollers on it, too much hand. You could lay it down like my chair. We need to, yeah. We need <laughs> way, hey, we need way more cowbell. <laughs> Word. <laughs> A <Thank> lot. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> More cowbell, man. Hey, all you fine people out there, smoke them if you got them. If you don't, I'll light it back up. I just, just breathe it. funny. Cheers. Handlebars on the headboard. Hell yes. I says, you know. Oh, yeah. Handlebars. On, yeah. Either yeah, that or yeah. care to make some pippy long stockings, you know. If, yeah. yeah have, you ever, have you ever went down the road? Uh, process with your old lady laying on her back on the tank and her legs over your shoulders. Well, that's why that's one reason why I don't have a windshield. <laughs> hey, I'm an old nasty biker, man. Get real. You like bugs flying up in your shit? Don't bother me one bit, bro. I wear a mask and sunglasses. They can they can pelt me all they want. <clears throat> Or when I'm riding down the highway, man, you don't know who I am. You won't, you won't, unless you know my bike, 
you don't know me. You won't see me. I, I, you, you can't. I'm that dude with a bandana around his face and sunglasses. You know. You're that dude, huh? Even yeah. in the summertime. Summertime, wintertime, all times, dude. You want to eat a grasshopper? I've done eight plenty. I don't want to. You know. <laughs> but I do admit it would be against the law, sir. Um, yeah, in some states. Start off at 55. Come at 110. Oh, shit. No. No. Yankee I, Kyle. I, Bob. What up, Yankee Kyle? Bob. Hey, how did the Yankees do against the uh, Toronto Blue Jays there, uh, Yankee Kyle? Did they sweep them? Because I ain't heard Slow Burner talking shit. Yeah, Slow Burner ain't been saying <laughs> He ain't said nothing about that game. He was going to bet 20 bucks. I told him I'd, if it was a series of four, I'd go a dollar a game. He said, nope, 20. I said, you're crazy. I don't even know what the Yankees look like this year. That's like me with OU every year. You never who's gonna you, you, you never know who's gonna be quarterback or that's some little midget motherfucker out there trying to throw the ball. Two out yeah. of three from him. The little midget that was running around out there throwing the balls and now he's an NFL quarterback. Kyler Murray. Yeah. I'm bigger than him. You know what? I'm bigger than him. Yeah, he's a little guy, man. I don't see how he can see over those big dudes. Maybe that's why he runs so it. far back. When he goes to throw a pass, maybe that's why he runs way back and then circles. He rolls to one side of the yes, other. Yes, because he can't throw the damn ball over the motherfuckers. Yeah. And look at Josh Heupel. He was we what, took two out of three of them. Yeah. No wonder Slow didn't say nothing. Yeah. We got two out of three. The kids yeah. are nine and two. Awesome. That's awesome. Sounds like we got some Kyle, we're, we're in uh do you do do you live in, in New York? Yes, he does. Where where at? I'm in Messina. I'm way the fuck up north. Yeah, if if that was here, if I was in Oklahoma and you was right above me, you'd be up there by uh on it by the border. You'd be it'd still be a thousand miles away from me, even if you were straight up north. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> that's that's a long day. That's a that's a road trip, dude. Dude, it's a road trip. I'm I think I'm too old to be riding my bike that far. No, you you want to sit down on this one, be able to relax. Yeah, your back could kill you after that road trip. I uh, there's a I've been looking at this seat thing that goes in the back of my seat. And it, it's it's a rest, my backrest for me. I don't handle backrest now. I usually just lean up against Queen, man. Them big old titties. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Manhattan, New York. Manhattan. Killer. Jesus. You're, you're, I don't, dude, I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, good for you probably because you're still there, but I don't think I can handle it, dude. I, I, that that's what she said. City freaked me out, man. That's a concrete jungle I don't want to be in. Yeah, I don't like concrete jungles at all. No, <laughs> no. no, that man, even thinking about it right now, kind of gets me like my, it feels like my heart's fixing to explode. That, that shit scared the fuck out of me, dude. I, I think mean, you just need to go. To the I would be able to be there. Worst injection I had was a cortisone injection into my spinal cord with a six to six gauge, 22 inch needle. That's it. That's what I did too. Did you have to lay on the table and they, they had a yeah. machine that give you the shot? I don't like that. Yes. <clears throat> I had two by hand in my back. They did me with that machine one time, man. And yeah. I'm, you I'm got me so that. lined up. Yeah, Man, it, it takes them like 20 minutes getting you all aligned. They gave me a shot of something to kind of loop, make me loopy, you know, help me on my way. And then when it, you know, well, anyway, I was in the back room back there with Queen, right? She was back there with me. I mean, she said I was saying all kinds of weird stuff like, hey, baby, take your clothes off. 
You <laughs> are sexy when you got your clothes. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. I don't remember none of that. Yeah, even that doc, I, she said I tried to run the doctor off. He said, hey, doc, come back here in a little minute, man. I'm going to knock a little off first. Would you do me? And he was going, "You, sir, you don't have time like that. And he said, believe me, you're not going to be able to do nothing here in a minute. You know, sure enough, I don't even remember none of that. But Queen was like, man, you was asking for this and wanting to do that and going into detail how you were going to do it and that doc and all this. And I was like, oh. Yeah, never they, never got, they never made me loopy or anything, dude. Never, never. I went in there straight up. They gave me uh, something to numb me. That's it. And very little of that. I still felt it. I don't remember none of it. All I know is when I got out, I felt like a hamburger meat. And by the time I got home, I was throwing up because of that. Yeah. Medicine. Uh that just makes my stomach roll. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know about the throwing up part. Get this, man. When I was getting my second operation, uh, taking that stuff out, I had a dream that I heard those doctors talking. And they were talking about me being overweight. And that, something like that, something about me being fat, right? right. I dreamed that. When the doctor was, you know, after he took the stuff out and I'm back, I did a, a checkup and he's checking me out and everything. I said, look, doc, I'm going to ask you a question. I said, can people hear sometimes in there that he goes, it's been, you know, people have said they did. Why? And I said, I heard you guys talking about my fat ass. He goes, I just got real big like that. He goes, wow. That's amazing. You were completely out. Y'all were talking about me? He goes, well, the, my guy there, the nurse was, was saying if people weren't so heavy, they wouldn't have back problems. But I explained to him that this wasn't a heavy person back problem. You got hurt in an accident. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. But I didn't hear that. I just remember him saying, I heard somebody say something about a fat ass. You know, you know what I mean? Or I thought yeah. I dreamed it. But when I said that to the doctor, he goes, wow, you heard that? That's said, how they hypnotize people. They get them that, that little zone where you're in between sleep and awake and you, you submit to anything, dude. You, you'll hear that and you'll get <laughs> fucking ripped about it. <clears throat> anything? Yeah. anything? You submit to anything? Anything. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. They, they say, hypnotists say that if it's morally unjust for you in your head, you won't do it. Do what now? If it is morally unjust in your head, like you know, you're you're a godly man. If you figure they're talking about the devil and this and that and the other, you'll come right out of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Things like that. Oh, just, oh, just oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never been hypnotized, bro. Like a, a lady up think... there, and he says, "Take off your bra, your shirt, your bra, and jumping up and down with your boobies flying everywhere." If she says in her head that, "Hey, man, that's not right," she'll come out of it. She'll huh. either come out of it or not do it. Have you ever been hypnotized? Never. I I was taught when I was a kid self-hypnosis but i've never done it i i mean oh I, my god that's what happened you've been hypnotized for 40 plus years bro snap out of it <laughs> what the fuck? I, pinch yourself or something man wake up that explains it, everything i never i never got hypnotized dude i mean they they taught me how to and i've gotten my teeth drilled on and shit by will, I don't think you. I I don't think I was hypnotized, but I I didn't have to get injections or anything else like that. Now, when they pulled my teeth, I got injections. Where at? And everywhere in my mouth, they had to. Oh, well, I thought maybe it was like on a butt or something. <clears throat> you have a fascination with that shit. Dude, quit thinking about my butt. 
I give shots in the butt, dude. Don't, 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 don't be talking about my butt. I didn't say your butt. I asked where you got the injections. Yeah, did I you say well, that? I do it in the butt, too. In your butt. Yeah. I don't think well, they I do no that. pain in the ass, though. <laughs> I'm going to give you pain in the ass. You know, to if you're gonna get a tooth pull, they don't roll you over and poke in the ass. Say, okay, it'll be 15 minutes, and we'll come over here and pull it. <laughs> I think smoke. you missed, Doc. Fake teeth. Yeah, I need to get me some. Look, I still, I still got 30 of mine though. <laughs> I counted, dude. I tried that shit, and I was counting like four or five more than I thought I had. And when they took the, the motherfuckers out, I had one with the, the, you know, they drill a post when they do a root canal. They drill a post and put a fake tooth on there. Yeah, they even broke that motherfucker off. They had to actually break the post. You didn't even wiggle a little bit? Because I wiggle like a mofo. <clears throat> they say don't that move, makes man. my shoulders hurt, man, right here. Can't help it. Hey, man, play some Mugs Money, dude. <clears throat> I need to hear some either low-key drinks up, uh, ashes, Something. I just I need some funk in my life, man. I hope everybody is, you know, having a midday snack or brunch or whatever the heck you find folks do. But of course, I hope you're enjoying your favorite strains also today. And look, today's Tuesday. That you know means something we haven't heard in a while. Oh my God! What? Mug sticky, pot smoking. Oh no! I want to. I want to hear some mugs money, man. Don't be changing my. I don't want to hear no muck sticky right now. I'm not in the mood. I want to hear some mugs money. Oh, uh, AKA Scrappy. And guess what? Listen to this. I swear, if it's anything but most money, I'm dropping it in the basement. Put your finger on the twigger. Do you drink mildew? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, hell no. You got a shotgun. Man, this be that boom bat. They like, who was that? Scrap to the D. Guess who was back? I'm on some other shit. My engineer, my brother, bitch. I'm not doing this for fame or to get rich. Music is my therapy, and that's the difference. My thought process is different. Snakes in the grass from the past, come and get it. Bitch, I'm in it. Want some smoke? Folk can come and hit it. Yeah. We be low key sliding. You don't know my crew, we wildish. Unless you want us to get by. No, I didn't even move my finger. You be key slide. Who we wild? Hey, guess what Saturday night is upstate? No violence, silence. Our birthday. I get playing on the beats. I'm sliding. Our birthday, whatever. We are playing chicken when I'm driving. My brother's like it. Our channel. It's our channel's birthday. We're going to have a birthday extravaganza. I promote it like that. I get so high sometimes. I swear to God, I'm flying. Other times, I get thoughts where I feel like I'm dying. Inside, I bury the pain and keep from crying. I'm emotional and damaged, and there's no denying. Friday, we do. But I'm trying to do the right thing. Thing. Night night. Keep yeah. We'll be say the day before our birthday. You don't know or my or we we Listen up and be quiet. Unless you want us to get violent. We be low key. Yes, hit that link. You don't know my crew. We wild. Listen and up we got and all be quiet. Kind of stuff, 
what you want is to get by. Trying to reach my peace, so I'ma keep climbing. Yeah, I'm miserable, but I'ma keep smiling. Living my life yeah, like all like, this shit keeps piling. That's on my shoulders shit, like boulders to find me. And that was it. That that gave me the groove that I need, bro. Turn it down just a little bit. Word. Man, this is cool. I like this remix, but I like the yeah. original song also a lot. You know he like looks. He's, he's got to like a little bit of rock and roll for him to come up with this remix. Well, don't wake it up. I'm trying. It's going through the hurt, tingling stage right now. <laughs> if I stood up, I'd fall down. Oh, stand up. <laughs> so stand on my lip. I want to see you fall out. Yes, yeah, you do. I'll do it too. I won't leave you hanging. I'll do it also. I think I think Slowburger Burner said, uh, "Fuck y'all," because you do. Hey man, Trump, thank you, you Felix. Bring up the Yankees. I'm drifting through like keeping it wrong, hoping I Felix, get you have right. a blast. Yes, I will see you next time. I'll emerge from the darkness into the light. Into the light. Yeah, I'm like AJ Green. What's up, Green Greenhouse? <clears throat> Welcome in, sir. I love greenhouses. Like the Me too. Lean your head over to the edge of the screen, I'll punch it. Lean your head over this way. Dude, I would want to fucking hook my GoPro to right here. Yeah, right here. I have a thing, it's a clip. Put it on that clip and put a thingy on there, a ball joint, have it facing at me. And I forgot. <clears throat> well, when we get done, cold I need. when we get done, fix it up. Hey guys. Thank you guys for coming in today on this great Taco Tuesday. Thank you There's so much. Three connectors. That's cool, man. I don't know which one's which. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, thank you guys for coming in. We're not doing one tonight. That we just popped up during the day because we were bored and thought you guys might want to listen to some BS. So we thought it out there for you. YouTube. Peace, love, and weed. Tomorrow we'll do a nooner.
and it'll be a late one tomorrow night. You guys, thank you for coming in. All of you rewatchers on Rumble, man. And all of you, man, please follow or subscribe. We need as many as we can get. We love entertaining you folks. Hopefully, that's what we're doing. Until next time, peace, love, and week. Uh, be kind to one another, and you're blessed. And bye, Felicia. And keep smoking, baby. 262. Thanks, everybody.